my name is Denise Druce, and I'd like to talk to you for just a minute about the I did it factor. So here's the deal. I want you to think about when was the last time that you, as a grown-up, said the words, I did it. Now think about that. When we're young, when we're kids, we are constantly given opportunities to say those words, I did it. I have three boys, and every day we say that so many times. You tied your shoes, you did it, that's awesome. You got 100% on your spelling test, way to go, you did it. You did a backflip on the trampoline, I'm so proud of you. And then, all of a sudden, we get a little bit older, and the I did it moments dry up. So here's what I'd like you to consider. Give yourself an opportunity every single day to say those words, I did it. It may be something small like the closet that you've been worrying about getting cleaned out for a while, or even a drawer, the feeling of accomplishment for just doing that thing that you've been putting off is huge. Now how about this? Have you never done push-ups on your toes? Maybe you always do push-ups on your knees. Do one on your toes. One. It doesn't even have to be pretty. But I want you to say, I did it. Let's say you're in yoga class and everyone's trying crow pose, some crazy arm balance, and you sit there and say, hmm, I can't do that. Well, guess what? You are right. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you always prove yourself to be right. So why not choose the word I can, right, instead of I can't? Because at the end of the day, I want you to have more opportunities to say I did it.